Okay, what we're going to use for the ingredients is flour. Got, and I've got one third of a cup of flour in there now. And if I put another one in, that's going to be too much. So we'll do the one quarter. So it's one third and one quarter of the flour. And then we'll do an equal amount of everything there. So that's one quarter. So that's one third and one quarter. That should be plenty. Now we'll do the milk with the same amount. Is one of these is one third. And the one quarter, or the one, this is the one, one third here. And then eggs. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do the eggs to measure that out. But let's pop one egg into this container here. I'll get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. We'll put one egg in here for now. So I can see it's probably going to be two eggs and that's all because this fills this up. And if I put one in the one uh, quarter cup that it's going to fill that. So two eggs would be almost an equal amount of everything. So there we go. We have an equal amount of flour, milk, I don't have a bigger, uh, like a taller bowl to mix this in. So this is it here. That's pretty thin. I guess that's an equal amount of everything. But there you go, Rob. I'm videoing the making of Yorkshire pudding. And I think I've got it so that there's not, there's no lumps in there, which is nice. We'll add that in. What is that that I, oh, anyway. Now this has been in the fridge for an hour or two. But I think I'm just going to leave it on the counter now and put a towel over top. There. Now I just added the salt. So milk, flour, eggs, and salt. Take a towel, put it over top. Then we'll in the pan and hopefully what I have is enough gas to cook it. That's going to be my biggest problem, whether I'm going to have enough gas to do this. Now, I need something to grab this when it's done or when it's ready. I've just got oil, unfortunately. Don't have any drippings or anything like that. Let's put a little bit more oil in there. And then we'll set the timer for 20, 25, 20 minutes. And then I can watch it and see how it goes. I guess the whole trick is getting the oil smoking hot. That's the whole trick to the whole thing. So we'll see, let's see how the oven is going. Oh yeah, the oven's working. First time I've used this oven. 
this should work just the same as putting the pan in the oven, I hope. <laughs> Let's get our batter ready so that I can put this in there. You can see how that's coming along. It's probably too much for in there, but... Okay, she is smoking. Let's turn the, turn the burner off. And let's pour our batter in. And I think I could pour the whole thing in. So now I know next time how much is good. And man, that is smoking hot. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's get this in the oven. And then we'll put the timer on for 20 minutes. It's set for 10 minutes at the moment. Minutes, 20. Ouch. Okay. 22 minutes start. There we go, guys. 22 minutes later, we'll have a look and see what's, what it's, what's happening here. The gravy I'm making is just your simple, get the water going and put some powdered gravy in there. I don't have any, any um, drippings or anything, so I just have to go with this. And this is a beef gravy. We'll see how thick that gets. I might have to put some more in there. Let's use your wooden wooden spoon. starting to get thick. There we go. Okay. Where's the spoon? Oh yeah. I'm hoping it's done. That's what she looks like, guys. Very close. I don't know if it's quite done, but man. So what I'm going to do here is I don't have any beef. I don't have the traditional foods, guys. But I went to the store, they didn't even have any roast beef there. Let's cut some out of the bottom here. I was gonna make like wraps where you put meat in and the gravy and everything and then wrap it up. Holy. Look at that. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Super hot. But holy. <laughs>